Picture your home with a stately stone chimney, a rich fireplace, a grand entrance. This is veneer and cultured stone. Veneer stone is easy, affordable, and beautiful. In our second how-to series from Chicopee Mason and Landscape Supplies, we will learn how you can easily create the highly desirable look of stone with these dynamic building materials. Topics in this how-to series will include what is veneer and cultured stone, creating a plan, tools and materials required, surface preparation, applying stone veneer, grouting and finishing. Veneer stone is exactly what it sounds like. Thin slices of stone are applied as a veneer to a rigid back wall of wallboard covered with metal lath and concrete, or a clean concrete or masonry wall. There are two types of veneer available through Chicopee Mason and Landscape Supplies. Veneer stone is real stone from a quarry that has been sliced. Cultured stone is manufactured from high quality building materials to achieve the look and feel of natural stone. Chicopee Mason and Landscape Supplies have a complete showroom with dozens of stone colors and styles to help make your selection easy. Every project starts with a plan, either a simple one on paper or one supplied by a contractor or architect. Be sure to properly estimate the square footage where the stone will be applied. It is also a good idea to understand the type of surface you will be applying your stone to for proper preparation. The pros at Chicopee Mason and Landscape Supplies can help estimate the amount of materials required, assist with the product selection, and provide helpful construction tips. There are several specialized tools and supplies which you will need before starting your veneer stone project. They include hawk and trowel, jointing and finishing tools, wheelbarrow and hoe for your mortar, hammer and chisel, masonry circular saw, a level, safety glasses and dust mask, veneer or cultured stone, vapor barrier, metal lath, grout bag, mortar and bonding agent. Chicopee Mason and Landscape Supplies have a great selection of these items and can deliver direct to your home or business. Be sure to download your seminar savings coupon at cmsblock.com after viewing this seminar. Cultured and veneer stone can be applied to a multitude of surfaces concrete, masonry, wallboard, and plywood. Before we start applying the veneer stone, if we are using a wood wall, we are going to cover the plywood with a breather-type weather-resistant barrier. Joints will be lapped by four inches in shingle fashion. Then, in accordance with local building codes, we will install lath or mesh using galvanized nails or staples six inches on center and penetrating the studs a minimum of one inch. Continuously wrap weather-resistant barrier and lath a minimum of 16 inches around all outside and inside corners. Once we have our surface prepared with lath, we can add our mortar. Use premix type S mortar from Chicopee Mason and Landscape Supply. You can tint your mortar to complement the color of your stone being installed. The tint will greatly enhance the appearance of the finished installation. Mix the mortar to a firm, moist consistency. Mortar which is wet will be weak and messy. Using a plasterer's or mason's trowel, apply mortar a half inch to three quarters of an inch thick to the prepared surface area. Do not spread more than a workable area. Here's a great tip. Plan how your stone will fit together by laying it out on the ground beforehand. Once we have our mortar applied, we want to start working on applying our veneer stone. If your project requires corner pieces, apply these first. Then, 
work from the outside in using your flat pieces. Working in a manageable area before the mortar sets, work from the top down or bottom up with the stone. Working from the top down can help prevent mortar from dripping down onto applied stone. In order to obtain the most natural look, joints should be as narrow as possible. Try not to exceed one half inch in width. An attractive look can also be achieved by fitting stones tightly together if desired. Apply mortar to the back of the stone and press into place. Press each stone into the setting mortar bed firmly enough to squeeze some mortar out around the stone's edges. Apply pressure to the stone to ensure a good bond. Make sure you do not smear mortar on your stone. Accidental smears should be removed using a whisk broom only after the mortar has become crumbly. Certain types of stone have patterns to apply during installation. Limestone, cobblestone, and ledge stone look great level and plumb. River rock and stream stone look great with random placement. Once we are finished, we can stand back to admire the beauty before we grout the joints. You can fill in joints with a grout bag. Be careful, since grouting is the most likely time that you can smear grout on the stone. You can remove a smear with a whisk broom after the grout has become crumbly. Never use a wire brush. After we have grouted, we can finish the joints after they have become firm. Point them up with a metal jointing tool. Rake out the excess mortar, compact and seal the edges around the stone. Careful attention to proper and even jointing will result in a professional looking finish. Once the mortar is sufficiently set, the finished job should be broomed or brushed to remove loose mortar and clean the face of the stone. A wet brush should never be used to treat the mortar joints. You're on the way to a veneer or cultured stone wall. After viewing this how-to video, be sure to download your seminar coupon for great savings on veneer or cultured stone and supplies from Chicopee Mason and Landscape Supplies. The pros at Chicopee Mason and Landscape Supplies are also available for helpful advice. They are located on 451 McKinstry Avenue, Chicopee, Massachusetts, and online at cmsblock.com.